In the main event at UFC Minneapolis, Francis Ngannou only needed a minute and 11 seconds to TKO Junior Dos Santos. In his last three fights, he stopped Curtis Blades in 45 seconds, Caden Velasquez in 26 seconds, and now JDS in 71 seconds. He wants a title shot next after the DC vs. Stipe fight, and he's clearly next in line for that opportunity. Joseph Benavides had a tremendous performance against Juicier Formiga, TKOing him in the second round. Benavides also TKO'd him in 2013. He wants a title shot versus Henry Cejudo. Although it was a controversial split decision, Benavides does hold a victory over Henry. Damian Maya controlled Rocco Martin in rounds 1 and 2 on the ground. He ended up winning a majority decision, ending Rocco's 4 fight win streak. Vince Patel lost the first round against Roosevelt Roberts, but took the second round and dominated the third en route to a unanimous decision victory. It's Roberts' first loss of his career. Drew Dober wasted no time by knocking out Marco Bolo Reyes 107 into the contest. He's won four of his last five. Alonzo Menafield kills Paul Craig 319 into the fight. He's 9-0. All nine wins are by stoppage. Ricardo Hamos won every round versus Journey Newsom en route to a unanimous decision victory. Hamos has won five of his last six fights. Eric Anders showed great takedown defense against Vinicius Moreira and then knocked him out in the first round. The referee was criticized for a late stoppage. Dan Moret controlled and threatened Jared Gordon with submissions early in the fight, but Gordon came back strong and won a unanimous decision, snapping a two-fight losing streak. Through takedowns and ground control, Dacia Langiambula won the first two rounds versus Daquan Townsend. Then he dropped him in the third and got the TKO victory. It was both fighters' UFC debuts. Amanda Hiba spent most of the first round trying to get a rear naked choke on Emily Whitmire. In the second round, she made it happen and scored a choke submission in her UFC debut. Maurice Green dropped Junior Albini twice and stopped him by TKO in the first round. Albini's lost four in a row and Green has won three straight. He'd like to take on Arlovsky next.